What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I had to talk about this. Um, I was actually asleep during NXT. Uh, I had worked out earlier today, and I needed me some rest, man. So, while NXT, uh, NXT was going on, I was taking me a good nap, but I did know Dominic was supposed to take on Wesley for the NXT North American Championship. Now, prior to this match happening, I had a feeling Dominic was going to win. It only made sense if Dominic won, only because all the titles he's been trying to go for on the main roster, he has been unsuccessful. Uh, I think the only titles he's really tried to go for was the tag titles uh, at some point. Yeah, I think he's he's tried to go for the um, the undisputed tag titles, uh, you know, teaming up with Damian Priest. And I think maybe the World Heavyweight Championship at some point uh, are going against Seth Rollins. I correct me if I'm wrong, but I, that's neither here nor there. The point is, I just didn't have a feeling he was going to win any main roster titles, at least solo ones right now. Not saying later on in his career he possibly couldn't win, but right now... We know he's not beating Gunther, and we know he's not beating Austin Theory, and we know he's not winning the World Heavyweight Championship, and we know he's not beating Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. So, them announcing that they're going to be on NXT and Judgment Day is going to be, uh, you know, taking over NXT in a sense, and him having a match with Wesley for the North American title, NXT with North American title, and Wesley being by himself. And not having no help, it only made sense if Dominic won. Because if he would have lost that, even though people would have probably enjoyed it, it wouldn't have made sense just in a booking standpoint. Because why book the match? What's what's the point of him booking that match for him to lose it? And then it's just like, all right, well, he Dominic just becomes uh, a loser that really can't get the job done. Even though we know that's his character, he needs help to get the job done. But it it, it it doesn't help out his heel heat, if that makes any sense. So, me taking my nap, I'm like, he's probably going to win. I wake up to a flurry of tweets and messages. You know, what's your thoughts on this? What's your thoughts on this? How could they do this? There's some of you guys that are okay with it. And then there's some of you guys that just hate the fact that Dominic Mysterio won. And has become the new NXT North American champion. And not only did he cheat to win well you know obviously he's a heel and not per se that it was him cheating it was the rest of judgment day helping him win as he is a chicken shit heel he's not a heel that's gonna get the job done by himself it makes it makes for you know uh, uh a better uh better heel heat um he beat the guy that had the longest reigning nxt north american championship title reign i didn't even know apparently it was like 200 in 69 days i had to look it up 269 days he was the longest reigning nxt north american champion and a lot of people on social media felt like dominic didn't deserve this win some people are even comparing it to when dolph ziggler randomly came back to nxt and won the nxt championship now this is where i have to disagree this is not the same situation situation if you guys remember that situation that was just them throwing something together to try to shock people to make people want to watch nxt again like look anything can happen that made no sense at all like there was no reason they weren't even gonna push Dolph ziggler and he ended up dropping it relatively quick so there was no point in them doing that only to say anything can happen on nxt now that wwe has been regularly putting more of the main roster individuals or having them come to NXT more often to kind of give that feel of NXT is not just the developmental brand even though it still is it's more of a its own brand they're trying to give it that that it it, it aligns with the main roster more than it has before and I'm okay with that it gets more eyes on the NXT brand from the casual audience that only watch Monday Night Raw and Smackdown they may check out nxt and especially since they're going to be seeing how 
how the hell Dom is a the new NXT world, uh, new NXT uh, North American champion. They'll be like, yo, what's going on with this? That's why I say it's a different because I think there was more thought behind this, obviously. And I do feel like this is not just going to be a situation where they just did that to get more eyes on, uh, uh, on NXT, even though it partially it probably does play into that but i don't think this is just a one-off i i have a feeling that they have planned obviously for this to happen to get dominic more heel heat which is one it's not a Dolph Ziggler situation where they weren't even going to do anything with Dolph as the nxt champion and he's not the head nxt champion you know what i'm saying this is you know the secondary title in nxt uh, the workhorse title, as you can say, some would say, um, is going to give Dominic more heel heat because he's going to really ramp this up on Monday nights. Like, I'm the newest NXT North American champion. I'm one of the greatest. This is his first, I believe, solo championship that he has won by, you know, not by himself, but, you know, it's a solo championship that he's actually won, the first one in his WWE career. I'm okay with that. And it's going to generate more booze because people are going to want to see this guy lose. Some people have said if they were going to have him lose, he should have lost at a NXT. If they were going to have Dominic win, he should have won at an NXT TakeOver uh, show. And to my point, well, my opinion on that, that's a fair point. If you feel like Wesley shouldn't have dropped it on a random episode of uh, NXT, even though they have been booking it or promoting it, if you feel like that, that's fair that's a fair enough point i can give you that but at the same time what they could possibly do is maybe because i'm sure wesley is going to try to get a rematch because he got screwed he got screwed out of the match there was you know i watched it and i was like oh yeah he got at the end yeah it was it was a numbers game as expected he got screwed out of the match so maybe they make some type of stipulation because they're going to continue the feud now people are going to want to see wesley get his revenge and people are going to want to see um dominic lose so what i could see them doing and what could be the grand plan here is that the next nxt takeover wesley get his rematch against dominic and you can have him potentially win it back in some type of stipulation match to not only introduce the main roster audience to wesley and i um and kind of build that up but to get even more people to potentially want to check out um the people you know, the casual fans that don't check out nxt like that to check out a nxt takeover um in the future and what they could do and what they should do and i hope they do is they start bringing wesley to the main roster get people introduced to who you are what you know what your issue is with dominic because if you want to be honest <clears throat> Anybody that's going against Dominic is an automatic babyface. There's no denying it. Anybody that goes against Dominic, they will automatically be looked at as a babyface. So imagine if Dominic's cutting this scathing promo or whatnot, or, you know, this, not scathing promo, but he's cutting like a, uh, a i did it all on my own promo he's bragging he's boasting i'm gonna be the the best nxt north american champion yada 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 and wesley comes out or whatnot and wesley is you know trying to you know get his you know get his revenge and maybe he cuts a promo on him the crowd's gonna instantly for the most part depending on how he does on the main roster promo wise the crowd's gonna instantly care more about him because they're gonna want to see dominic lose and that can help maybe get him over on the main roster or maybe have him attack you know what I'm saying attack attack dominic backstage you know what I'm saying there's many there's plenty of ways they could really set this up to ultimately help out wesley in the wrong in the long run on the main roster to get more exposure so that's why i'm saying it's not a complete it's it's not a complete negative i think it makes sense i think this is not just thrown together i think they do have a game plan for dominic here and i can see them having wesley trying to get his revenge get the title back that he got screwed out of and maybe finish his story no pun intended at the next nxt takeover event maybe have a a some type of stipulation and he get his title back that way i'm okay with it if it in the process if it's able to help 
the baby face get over get more people to check out who he is on the main roster as well as people wanting to see can dominic defend this title or wanting to see dominic lose people are going to want to check out the next nxt takeover event just to see this guy lose so i don't see the negative here i get it people just don't feel like dominic deserves that but i do think he's a, he's one of the best heels they have in the company and for him to win the title the way he did being pretty much he it wasn't him doing the the heavy lifting it was his teammates helping him win it makes it that much sweeter and that much more um i guess you could say entertaining and and watching this guy talk his trash to ultimately finally get his comeuppance and lose in a one-on-one -on -one situation maybe where there's no interference involved maybe a steel cage match i don't know we're gonna see how they play it out but i do not think this feud is over it's not a one-off and i do think it makes sense in the long run so comment down below let me know do you guys agree with dominic mysterio becoming the new nxt north american champion or do you guys feel like um this uh this shouldn't have happened maybe do you guys feel like it should have happened at an nxt takeover or do you guys feel like wesley shouldn't have dropped it to a uh, a main roster individual at all should have dropped it to somebody in nxt let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation because i know there's some people that are for dominic becoming the new champion and there's some people that are against this so y'all give me your opinions down below but i appreciate all love support guys showing on channel road to and if you i'm still gonna be the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all on the next one peace